Hello everyone, Minus and Sazen. Today I'm bringing you an in-depth review of the MP7. Now the gameplay that you are going to be watching in the background is me playing on a Lang Chang Dam, the other half of the video that you saw earlier. My friend is texting me, I'm sorry for that. Interruption. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, so this MP7. Actually, I get my stats on thesynthic.com, it's one of the let's go for gaming, and that bitch is like me so hard. <laughs> um, what else is I was gonna say? Remember to drop a like and hit that subscribe button while you're at it, checking out this video. Okay, let's dive straight in. I need one more in-depth video and then I'm done! If you have not watched my other in-depths, you have not learned yet that I'm getting a PS4. That means my quality of videos and my more friends I can have increases. Okay, let's dive straight in. Now the max damage for this weapon is 20. Minimum damage is 11.2. That is really, really bad. No wonder this weapon has a, such a high rate of fire. Fire rate is 950 rounds per minute. The fire rate in burst form is the same thing. What a surprise! Now the muzzle velocity, even though it's not that well, gets the job done 420 meters per second. But the suppressed muzzle velocity, you know, 260, not that great. Not great at all. <laughs> tear, <laughs> big tear. Anyway, the bullet drop is 15 meters per second squared, which is normal for basically every single gun except for snipers, I believe. Magazine size is 41, no wonder, cause this mag- cause this freaking gun shoots crows like they're popping out eggs or they're crapping or something, I don't know, it's just a really fast firing weapon. Not good for long range, only good for CUB, that's why. I'm surprised I'm even using it on this map, I usually only use it on Operation Metro 2014 or, uh, Operation Locker, either one. Those are the two best maps suited for this weapon, unlike the PDWR, which every map is suited for, basically. Anyway, the projectile is 46 by 30... 46 by 30 millimeter round. I don't know what that is. I don't really know if that's like an HK, an HNK, Helker and Cock, Coach, Helker and Coach round. I honestly don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not. I'm pretty sure it's just a standard uh, machine pistol round. I don't know, though. Now the reload empty is 2.9 seconds, reload left is 2.5. Now that's not that's not the greatest recoil. I mean, reload. I'm so dumb. The reload is 2.9 empty, 2.5 left. Um, that's not the greatest reload, but it's better than the PDW, which I'm pretty sure had a 2.6. I'm honestly not sure. It was just really, really bad. PDW, but this still you, you have to you have to know when to reload with this. I got the last hit shot off of that gun. Was and I threw like eight grenades over there and I just could not kill him. I'm surprised they didn't kill him with the grenade because you saw the grenade leave my hand, but you know. Shit happens. Oh, we're almost at the, the, at the end of the video. Kidding, got like two more minutes. Um. Right. Uh, the recoil. Now, the recoil on this weapon is terrible. I'm serious. What is recoil? Like? Terrible. But not, but do not let that deter you, because if you're going to be using this in a CQB environment, you're fine. You don't need to reboot the damn recoil. Spray and pray! That's what our OMGs are for, too. But, you know. Um, spread. Spread's pretty good. Much like the PDWR, except a tiny bit, tiny, tiny, tiny. Tiny, like a fingernail point. Worse. Because the PDWR is just... It's just naturally good. That's again. That's why you see me with all my PDWs that I ever run. I do not have a laser sight on because if I scope and I get no scope even from halfway across the map. So that's the best part. Now, even though I didn't recommend my favorite class setup for the PDWR, I'm gonna recommend it right now, just in case if you have to check out both videos. Um, real quick. Uh, I know I said compensator red dot and. Flashlight and I forget what my uh, under attachment was. And then for the P, no, not the P, the um, MP7, I am going to recommend. I believe it is a red dot compensator muzzle brake because the, they both do the same thing. I prefer uh, muzzle 
or the one that reduces the muscle drift. I prefer that one. And a. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> 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 <laughs>